Here's a review on this Flame Atmosphere speaker. This is a Bluetooth as well. Right out of the box, comes with the actual uh, Flame speaker right here. And you get some stuff down here as well that comes out of this little white box. You have the instructions manual here as well. And really quickly, looking at this light here, you can see the light on there. We can turn this on or off. This only turns the light on. And you can see we, you can use a flame here or you can use a night light. And if you have it on the night light, you can increase and decrease the brightness as well. If I hold down that middle button, just press and hold, long press it, and you can see it's going to get dim. And then it's going to go back to the brightest right there. If you want it back on flame, tap that middle button again or turn it off. Then you can turn it on, flame, and you can get the night light and tap it again. You can turn it off. You have the Bluetooth buttons on here as well if you go ahead and press and hold this right here the power button you can go ahead and put it in uh, pairing mode here and i'll hook this up to my phone here so if i go to bluetooth here and let's see it this one okay so it shows up as aj200 so let me tap on that right there go ahead and pair that and then let me go ahead and play quick music here and I can increase and decrease from my phone, or you can increase and decrease from here as well. And you also have a subwoofer right there. You have your charging port right there, and it is a USB-C. Comes with a USB-C connector, and this is actually uh, rated IP65, so it is like dustproof and water resistant. So, I mean, okay for rain or whatnot. Just make sure you close this charging port here. You just can't submerge the whole thing in water. And you can see the power, and you can see the power button here. The turn, and when you turn this on, it's only turning on the Bluetooth. Okay, if you just want the light, you don't have to turn the Bluetooth on. You just use that middle button. Okay, you got volume down, volume down, volume up, play and pause. Also with the volume down. If you want to decrease the volume, you, you want to keep tapping it, okay? If you press and hold the, um, the minus sign, it's going to go to the previous song, okay? Plus sign here, if you want to increase volume, you just keep tapping. If you want to go to the next song, you long press, press and hold, and wait till it goes to the next song. You also have this little thing up here. And if you look on the bottom here, you have this like one fourth inch screw here, which you can put on a tripod or whatnot. But you can also do this too. It comes with clamps here. Oh, and it comes with the S-hook too, if you want to go ahead and pop that on there, like that. And you have these sticks here, if you want to go ahead and like put this like in the ground in your backyard or whatnot. You can go ahead and connect these like this. You can go ahead and screw this part in here. This way we can go ahead and put that pole in here as well. You can screw that on, and this here you can kind of just pop it in there like this. You can actually kind of make it like a torch as well, but if you want to stick it in the ground, you can go ahead and go all the way in like this, and then you pop that stake in there, into there, and stick that into the ground. And I'll go ahead and screw this, screw this back out. And if you screw it back out, I mean, you can lay it like flat. Great for like camping, you can use it as a night light. My son likes to use the little fire on there when he's trying to like sleep. I like to leave it on the fire and have some kind of like sleeping music on to help me sleep. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, but if you have two of these, you can hook it up to uh, one device like your phone or computer and have the music play on two of these speakers at the same time. And I'll give you one more look. See how this looks here.